We are in a, in a diocese that is truly blessed and growing and has many needs. And a way of responding to those needs is by giving to the Lord out of what we have received thanks. The title that has been chosen for the campaign is For Christ Forever. I think those three short words say it all. It is about our relationship with Jesus Christ. It is about living our faith, not only now, but for those who are to come. I think it says clearly what we are about, what we are being asked, and what we hope to do for those who come after us and to respond to the Lord's will for us now in this very privileged and blessed and providential moment in our history. The goal of this For Christ Forever capital campaign is to raise $100 million and to reach out to every parishioner and every resident in Orange County to support this campaign. There are five primary goals of the campaign. First of all, every parish and center, each of the 62 parishes and centers in the Diocese of Orange will benefit in some way from this campaign. We also will use these funds to support our youth through Catholic education. We will increase this tuition assistance endowment so that Catholic education become more affordable. We will also support the housing needs for our retired priests. We will support the ministries that are normally supported by our Pastoral Services Appeal, or PSA. And finally, more than 50% of the campaign goal will be used to renovate, restore, and transform the Crystal Cathedral into our future Christ Cathedral campus. One of the strengths of our Catholic faith is that we are the whole family of God. We're not just one parish or one school or one institution, we're everybody together. We have almost 1.2 million Catholics here in Orange County, and many of them are actively engaged in the parishes. And this is where people primarily find their spiritual life, their community, their spiritual home. The For Christ Forever Capital Campaign will support the needs of our parishes and cultural centers. This includes building new churches, renovation and repairs of existing churches, as well as providing income to support vital parish services. What's really exciting about this campaign is that the benefits to Catholics in this diocese are going to be incredible. 25% of all funds received over a parish's PSA goal will be returned to that parish for local needs. Once a parish achieves its campaign target in cash, 50% of all funds received over that target will be returned to the parish to use as they see fit. This creates a win-win for our parishes allowing us to support important diocesan initiatives as well as earn significant funds towards our own important parish project. We have in the Diocese of Orange close to 14,000 children enrolled in our Catholic schools and 34 schools are actually our elementary schools. I think it's heartbreaking when a parent comes to the point where they just feel they cannot move forward with covering the cost of tuition. And it's always a great blessing for a principal to say to them, come forward, walk with us, work with us, and we will find a way, we will find the means to keep your children in our school. I think it's really important for people to receive financial aid because those families who can't afford to come to a Catholic school, they really should have the chance to because for a Catholic school, for me, it has impacted my life so much, and without it, I don't think I would be the person I am today, so I think we should really be able to give the chance for other families to have that same impact that I have. Well, the Retired Priest Endowment Fund is critical at this time. As our priests are aging rapidly, and as their health is declining, it's really critical that we give back to them, that we take care of everything for them, including their long-term care, their in-home care, their health, their well-being, their nutrition, and their memory. All of that is super critical at this time. One element of the For Christ Forever campaign will be to help fund many of the pastoral ministries and services that our Diocese of Orange offers. These include such important ministries such as the deaf community, Catholic charities, lay ministry training, prison ministry known as restorative justice, just to name a few. And they're so important because these ministries directly affect our parishioners and even our local communities of Orange County. 
The diocesan ministries serve both the physical and the spiritual needs of our communities, and that's why For Christ Forever campaign is so important. Our campaign has the opportunity to unite us in a way perhaps that we have never been united before. Our future Christ Cathedral can also remind us as the cathedrals of old that really we are never finished. By the grace of God, we are always a work in progress, a people in progress, a church in progress, and we are to continue even though we can't see the end in sight. Our future Christ Cathedral is well suited to fulfilling its role as the center of the Church of Orange in ways that have never been possible before. Well, we see this acquisition of the great Crystal Cathedral campus, its 34 acres, is probably the most significant manifestation of the growth of the Diocese of Orange. And so the challenge before us is to take this remarkable property that's been in development for over 40 years and make it essentially and intrinsically Catholic. In this present moment, we are embarking on this campaign. First of all, I would say for all of us, take a few minutes and be grateful to God for all that we have received. Then secondly, take a few moments and say, what is the Lord asking me to do? How is he asking me to respond? What am I to undertake in his name for our good and the good of all who come after us in his body of Christ here on earth?